Hey guys, my name is Phil and welcome to this video. Today we're gonna to be talking about essential add-ons for Elementor, which is essentially an add-on pack that you install after you have Elementor installed on your site and it gives you a bunch of other widgets that you can actually use within your site and if you have Elementor Pro within your header and footer as well. So we're gonna be digging into that today. I've actually been playing around with it for a little while now and there's some really interesting pieces of it. So um, I'm really excited to share those with you i'm gonna um i have a fresh install of wordpress as well as well as the essential add-ons for elemental plugin so i'm going to show you how it looks i know a lot of people when they go to buy something and they install it it's not what they expect so hopefully this video is going to show you exactly um, what you're going to get and if you haven't yet bought essential add-ons for elemental and you're thinking about it I'm also giving away a free SEO course for all people who decide to support my channel and buy essential add-ons for Elementor through the link and more information about that is in the video description. So make sure if you want a free SEO course for the same price or maybe even a better price um, for essential add-ons for Elementor, it will be there. So today's training. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to jump behind the screen in a second and I'm going to show you exactly what Essential Add-ons looks like. They've got uh, such a big list of uh, add-ons and widgets and elements that um, I've actually seen in any type of add-on plugin for Elemental. I've reviewed a few already. Uh, this one has like over 70, it's crazy. And there's a few interesting ones that I haven't seen before, so um, I'm excited to share those with you. So what I'm going to do right now jump behind the screen and I'm gonna show you what those are. Okay, so here we are at the essential add-ons for Elementor page. First of all, I'm just gonna walk you through a few different things here, um, just to let you know what is sort of available, what the pricing is and what is sort of unique about it. And then I'm gonna to go to the live website and show you uh, how it works. So as you can see here, we've got over 70 premium elements. I believe they're creating them more and more every day. And if we go down the site, you can already see there's a lot of animation happening. And now these are, these are actually some of the widgets that you can get, some of the elements. And here is our pricing. So um, what's actually interesting is uh, this toggle here is one of the elements that you can get so it's good to see they use their own stuff um, but essentially if you're going to buy it you're going to be paying around 170 for life but the good thing is you um, the the widgets and the elements inside of EA is enough to replace um, Elemental Pro so you only need to use the free version and then you can use this for everything else so if we scroll down even further here's all the different uh, tabs we have a lot of these are the free ones you can get using the free uh, sort of module but if we come down to the premium essential elements there's even more now there's a few interesting ones i wanted to look at the first of all is the logo carousel now this is great if you're an agency or creating for someone who's um, got a lot of brand recognition or they've done some good things for some good people you might be the same if you're creating the same thing maybe you have your own sort of um, clients you want to showcase so this carousel slider it is a um, first off i haven't actually seen anyone create particularly a logo carousel which is you know specifically for it you'll notice a lot of people have these sorts of carousels in um, people like that have been featured on things like uh, you know entrepreneur magazine and stuff like that so it's really interesting to have it they have it as a slider um, it's something very unique one other um, widget I like is the advanced accordion it's really nice you click on it it pops out it's perfect for things like uh, frequently asked quest questions like FAQs things like that um, so that's cool I absolutely love this interactive promo so this is basically a um, a hover sort of effect where it brings up a lot of information so you can add text um, and cool little shapes so that's something that I haven't actually seen before as well this one's really cool it's like you know it connects the dots so there's loads of different examples that you can go for but you pretty much get the gist of it um, there's also the toggle which I actually mentioned before it's about the the pricing if you have any types of pricing plans this is absolutely amazing um, so you could change it from like monthly to yearly it could be for anything it could be for like mentorship it could be for software as a service um, these kinds of things basically what it does is it's allowing you to change the information based on a toggle um, which I find is really cool 
And then the other one that I really wanted to um, sort of bring up was the protected content. Now this is perfect for pretty much all bloggers because there should always be some sort of exclusive content um, in order for you to hopefully get you know their email address because everyone should be email marketing. So I've actually just gone through and played with it already. Um, I haven't actually used it on my website yet so I'll just refresh the page. But what it allows you to do is have different ways that you can uh, protect your content, right? So if you scroll down, it's got uh, a basic sort of, um, it's actually telling us the password in this one, um, but pretty much what you would do is have an opt-in form and then if someone tries to access this content without having the password, they wouldn't be able to, then you could get their email, that sort of thing, um, or else it could be exclusive to clients or whoever. So this is what it looks like before. So this could just be on a massive page, but um, it's currently protected. And if I submit the code, I noticed this, um, only takes a few seconds to load which is really good um it reveals the content so that's pretty cool right it's um you could you could put anything below here as well so it's it's pretty amazing some other ways you can do it you can do it by user roles you can um, hide the content it brings it up as well as um there is another style i think i have to <laughs> redo it each time um but essentially what it is is like an inline password as well it's pretty much the same as that but in a module modules type form um yeah so that's pretty cool and if we have a look what else we have you know there's loads of stuff things like instagram feed which is nice to have as a default sort of setting um, we've also got advanced tool tips i believe that's if you're showing someone around a website um, you can give them some tool tips and everything testimonial sliders are always very handy and then of course the light box and modal it's extremely handy to have a light box and modal sort of element that you can use and as you can see when you click on things they bring up different overlays right and you can put anything in these as well which is really handy it's um it's, it's sort of a necessity these days to have like you know uh, modals which are essentially pop-ups in certain ways um you can even add little like logos and oh sorry icons and things and then you can use pretty much any trigger as well which is um which is cool so this is like what they call a welcome mat i believe so so that's it like there's loads of stuff obviously i'm not going to go through each individual one because there's so many um, but just to remind you there is something like you know 600,000 people already using uh, essential add-ons so it's not a random company that's just going to disappear after a while they've been around for ages and they're going to be around for ages too so what i've done as I've created this um, blank page, it's a demo page I use for most of my tutorials. And I've installed the basic and the pro of Elemental, but I've also got the essential add-ons here. Now I believe it's up to date um, as of June or August it may be, but um, if you're looking at it later on, it may have changed, but regardless, it's all the same stuff. Now, if I'm coming through here, you can see there are loads and loads and loads of widgets, like ridiculous amounts of widgets. So this is more than enough to replace elemental pro um, if you're thinking about doing it obviously the thing that you're missing is the templates but if you like to build things from scratch um, you can just use this in the free elemental by for for sure so if we go through a few ones that pop out to me which are really nice i love advanced data table so if you are a wordpress user no doubt you're using some sort of table plugin if you're trying to rank higher in seo in the google search engine and the bing search engine um, so it's really handy having a table sort of widget or um, element inside of it, right? So you can just go ahead and type whatever you want and it's going to resize based on, you know, how much content you do, which is really nice. So it's really good for things like um, reviews, comparisons or pricing tables or, you know, anything like that. Um, so having that natively there is really good and you can style it however you want. You can add like headers, you can remove like, the search bar. It's got all of the stuff that you would hope to have inside of a table plugin, except you don't um, have to like you don't have to add in any third-party plugins anymore in which you usually have a short code you can edit everything live it's going to save so much time um, i'm actually going to start using this table plugin it's the best i've seen so far so really really good to know um, so that's the table plugin which i thought stood out by miles um, what else so we have the, the really interesting thing too with essential add-ons is they connect to so many other platforms as well so like caldera forms um, that's another company they they provide forms same with contact form 7 um, so you can like if you have other plugins like embed press that sort of thing um, you can actually connect it to elementor and make it easier to you know 
to use fluent form form stack gravity forms all these type things so there's loads of different form builders that you can actually integrate in here easily without you know having to use um like back-end editing or anything like that it's, it makes it so much easier mailchimp ninja forms you can see everything in here it's also got a learn dash um interface as well so you can play with learn dash um if you have learn dash which is like an a, a learning system learning management system lms so if you've got like courses and stuff you can actually just play around with it in here which is really cool um and if you come down there's like all these pricing tables which are the ones that you can put the um the flip tool on and everything and it's just got so much wp forms we form it's got so many different types of forms type form amazing so it's got all the bells and whistles let's be honest it's got everything you could possibly want and it's got some great additions too like the call to action i i like this it's um i'll actually add a new element to show you what it does this is perfect if you wanted to create like notice bars or you know you wanted to create like an entire section that's um dedicated to like a call to action so i particularly like the flex grid and then you would just change the sizing as well um, you could even remove one of these if you want it just to look a little bit nicer but um yeah it's uh it's it's pretty amazing so you can just have this in line at the bottom of your page or in the middle of your page anything like that you could change the background make it look good um, but that's all there you can play with that so I, I think that's a pretty cool module not many other builders have that so that's um that's very handy to have and if i look down what else do i find amazing content tickers good the timeline um nothing like a good timeline if you're having like a, a software as a service something like that you can add your blog post as a timeline which is pretty cool um so you can create posts based on you know the the time format rather than um having like a gallery or something like that there's a counter counters are really cool so it shows how many people i believe uh um you can you can sorry add things like clients and stuff if i uh, so it's like a it's like a counter yeah so you can pretty much put a number it might be like you know um talking about it's pretty much like one of these but it's like a, a more customizable one um that you can play with so that's cool to have having a counter there it's um, a bit more customizable than the standard um, elemental pro one there's things like creative button and to be honest this little is a little bit underwhelming um compared to a different a few other add-on plugins they have so you can add in your icon there's an icon library there if you want it um there's you can add secondary text in here it doesn't always come out exactly how you want it um but regardless there's different animations you can have on it when you style it and it pretty much just goes from there like you can do all this crazy stuff but um that's interesting anyway so you can play around with that there's that secondary text that it, i was talking about when you hover over it changes color anyway that's the button it wasn't as exciting as i hoped it would be but it's still there regardless so there are a few little weird ones but you guys get the idea it's got flip boxes it's got all the stuff that you pretty much need um when you're creating a website it has more stuff than elemental pro but it also um integrates with everything as well which makes it real easy so it's going to be a quick one today guys if you really wanted to check it out um all the information is on the website once again i've left links in the description but um pretty much everything is kind of self-explanatory um when it comes to this sort of stuff so this one is a image scroller which is interesting so you can go up and down the image um, depending on how you've made the sizing but um yeah that's that's pretty much it i just wanted to really show you what it looked like when you install it and you know um how the, the background looks this is that interactive promo that's really cool um i haven't got an image in there right now but you can see the text already on there which is really cool and you've got all the different um, styles in the back so yeah what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to jump back to the camera um and i just have a few extra things to say okay guys that is essential add-ons for elementor as you can see there are tons of different widgets or elements that you can use for your wordpress site whether you have elemental basic or pro it doesn't matter um, it's going to give you another tool belt full of tools that you can use for your website from anything from you know the advanced accordion to the slide images to flip boxes to you know all these different features there's more than enough to you know build an amazing website with everything inside of it so 
If you are thinking about getting essential add-ons, there is a link in the description if you want to get that free SEO course. Um, but hopefully I have given you some information about it. Hopefully I've shown you what you can expect uh, when you get essential add-ons. And if you've liked this video or is it, if it's helped out, make sure you give it a like. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe for more future videos. There's going to be loads of good ones relevant to WordPress, blogging, SEO, everything in the near future. So make sure you keep out an ear for those. And that's it guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out this video and I'm gonna see you on the next one.